So he went ballistic in Parliament the other day. It was crazy. This, I'm still pushing about the carbon tax myself and about how ridiculous it is and what a, a terrible, terrible tax it is on Canadians. And now with the carbon tax two coming in, which we've got a video on that, I'll put a link at the end for you guys. It's, it's like, where, where do you stop taxing, taxing, taxes upon tax, taxing Canadians? Just taxing them out of their homes. Where do you stop? The, just have a listen to him debating this. What is nowhere is their environmental plan. They don't have an environmental plan. After eight years of raising taxes on consumers, uh, they still can't hit their targets. And they seem to suggest that if the, if Canadians were just forced to pay more for gas, <laughs> groceries, and heat, that forest fires would stop. Mr. Speaker, that is ridiculous. All that has happened is a 40-year high in food price inflation. One in five Canadians skipping meals because they can't afford meals. food. 1.5 million going to food banks. Uh, now, Mr. Speaker, they want a 61 cent a litre carbon tax. Will the tax the tax of Canadians can afford to eat? It's, it's the not Minister of the Environment. So, Mr. Speaker, the Conservative Party of Canada say that if they were in power, they would, you, they would work through this? technology to reduce pollution. It's, the place has gone crazy. Oh my god. Because they're going to use technology. <laughs> from the car. From the car. Calm down, calm down. Wow. Oh, that's nuts. <laughs> the Honourable Minister, for mm. about, you've got about 20 seconds left, please. Interestingly enough, Mr. Speaker, they had 10 years to do that when they were in power. My friend and colleague, the Minister of Innovation, Science and Economic Development, does more for clean technologies oh, yeah. on an average day before yeah, for his first coffee, Mr. <laughs> Speaker, than they did in 10 years. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Actually, what in 10 years is reduce emissions while the economy grew, which proves the following quote. I take great exception to the federal minister always forcing this into a dichotomous issue. Either you believe in exactly what we say or you don't believe in climate Certainly. change. That's completely illogical. It's completely false dichotomy. It's a false dilemma. And it's as insulting as it is simplistic. Who said that? The liberal premier of Newfoundland. He says the carbon tax will bring inflationary pressures to his people. Why won't they listen to the Liberal Premier pay, and pay ask the tax? tax. Doesn't make, doesn't make the carbon go away. Mr. Speaker, you sit in this house and you listen every day, but I'd like to do another history lesson if you'd let me. The previous government had a Secretariat for Rural Economic Development. This government, which they axed, by the way, Mr. Speaker, it was this government that put in place a standalone Department of Rural Economic Development, whose number one issue and mandate is to connect the country from coast to coast to coast, because that is the equalizer. High-speed, affordable internet. And by the way, Mr. Speaker, I was in the member opposite's riding last week and made a $71 million announcement of partnership with the government of Ontario to connect the riding <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Exactly. The leader of the opposition. Shows how out of touch they are. They think that what rural Canadians want is another big government bureaucracy in Ottawa, Mr. Speaker. I do. What they actually do want is more money in their own pockets. But the plan of that member is to raise taxes on Newfoundland customers, to bring in a 61 cent a litre carbon tax on Newfoundlanders, Labradorians, and all Canadians. They will drive up the heat, the cost of heat gas and groceries even the liberal it premier won't. of newfoundland says it won't help the That's environment it. it will cause inflation why won't they axe the tax so what do you think get rid of the carbon tax we it's not actually doing anything is it it's not stopping people from driving i i'm always in my car truckers have to drive things have to be delivered it's just have you been well you've obviously been in the grocery stores stuff just costs a lot more because of it and you know something that's about the carbon tax it could be that maybe the liberals like the carbon offset because they can then use it so they can jet around everywhere and just say hey you can write this off as a carbon offset because we've got the carbon tax <sighs> till next time